In this video, we'll look at the article tag and we'll also style it with CSS. The article tag is part of a category known as semantic elements. These elements act as containers similar to the div tag, yet they provide context and meaning to the web content they enclose. Take the nav tag, for instance. It's designed to house navigation links. The explicit purpose of such semantic tags allows search engines and assistive tools to interpret the content more effectively. Additionally, they contribute to clearer and more manageable HTML code for developers. If you're interested, I have another video that uses these semantic tags to construct this sample news web page. A companion video styles it with CSS. You can find links to them in the video description. So how are article elements used? The article element is a semantic element that represents a self-contained composition within a document, page, or site. This might include content from a forum post, an article in a magazine or newspaper, a blog post, or any other standalone piece of writing. It's a standalone section that could be distributed independently of the rest of the page. Here's an example with two article elements. An article element will typically contain a heading tag along with the rest of the content. In this example, only four CSS styles are used. I'll delete them and then add them back one at a time to demonstrate what each one does. This one sets the background color. This one adds a left side blue border. This one sets the padding. And the last one provides a margin between the article elements. And there you have it. When you're structuring content for the web, it's not just about making it look good. It's about making it meaningful and accessible, both for users and search engines. The article element helps accomplish that. Thanks for watching and please subscribe and leave a comment.